You know, that guy committed suicide, right? Wake up. Ah, shut up. It's the hey, wake morning, up. okay? Chill. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Yeah. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. wind last night actually tore up some trees near my tower. I know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. Oh boy. That's actually quite a drop, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, that's okay. It always looks higher from above, I guess. I mean, that is... Actually, no, that's kind of a drop. Holy crap. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... I'm sorry, can you hold that thought? Uh, sure, just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little Ooh. bit. Call me if it's important. Damn it. I shouldn't have done that. I was curious. Uh, 
Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. All right, so there's a little bit of port potty over there. I'm assuming what's over here. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once. I think. Whoa. Uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area. I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. Uh, something's fishy with Delilah, or whatever her name is. I'm just gonna take this stuff. found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Got it. And then we're gonna go in here. I don't know if I want to. Oh. Okay. Here, that was definitely set on fire. What? Okay. Is somebody living here? Something seems a, little, seems a little bit fishy with Delilah and not telling me what's going on here. Tree poster. There it is. Should I go this way? Yeah. Might as well. What can I... Oh, sweet. You can just go right for it. But then there's that... Whoa. There's that box. Dude, that's been cut. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Cool. Let's -a go. Okay, beer can. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. <laughs> I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find oh, Wow. Them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Looks kind of like Maybe a face. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I wonder, like, if I pick up every can... If I get an achievement, that'd be cool. Wow, look at that view, though. That's pretty nice. How about this? Boom! Screenshot! Oh, I saw something to the left. What is that? It's a backpack? What is that? I'm, I'm actually interested. Yeah. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, cool. And rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. 
Wow. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, <laughs> so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? What is that? Is that a fire? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Yeah. Is that a fence? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. Oh, hell no, nah, dude. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself <laughs> have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years, whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. I'm actually married. But you're here. Yeah... She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. 